starting this episode with my face in the corner because I screwed up bad. Hi everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Spyro, a hero's tale. Uh, something's different, you might be able to tell. I, um, I screwed up. I screwed up bad, and I have, I have to admit it. I recorded the actual episode 8 a while ago, and, um, I didn't record it. I hit the record button for my audio capture, and did not hit the record button for my, uh, video capture. So I went through all of the past episode and didn't capture any of it. And I'm very disappointed with myself. Even more so because the episode started off with a boss battle against Nasty Nork. And it was pretty good. For a first boss in the Spyro game, it was really good. He had some special attacks. And when it was all done, we got a fairy that gave us the ability to shoot lightning breath. And he crushed Sparks, okay. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. I know that you've traveled far and overcome great obstacles in your quest to save me. Holy oh, crap, you're hyper. Actually, I'm on a quest to... So as a reward, I will bestow you some of my electric energy. This will give you the ability to breathe electricity from now on. Wow. Is this breath even stronger than my fire breath? In some ways it is, but it will take longer to defeat enemies. Specifically, it can be used to activate switches and power machinery. Excludes not electric switches and or machinery that uses light gems batteries not included. <laughs> Thank you for that last part. I was going to say it if you didn't. It was really cool. I went back to Crocodile Swamp and I got the electrical challenge done that was in there, which required me to have lightning breath. Got another light gem out of that, which was good. And then we uh, traveled to a new realm. We are in Coastal Remains. What? Defeated by that little twerp Spyro. He is only a dragon whelp. Your master was a useless lump of dragon dung! And you brainless imbeciles better get your act together, or you will find yourselves working in the mines digging for dark gems for the rest of your miserable lives! Oh, as for you, this is the first and last time you will bring me bad news. All of you, get out there and stop Spyro. I suspect he's on his way to this realm. And when he gets here, I'll have a little surprise. Kill it with fire. Or in my case, electricity and fire. And you can see I've already explored this place a bit. When I found out I hadn't recorded, I quit the game and loaded it back up and autosave did a thing. So, we've got a light gem, we've got an egg. And they both came from the same minigame. So, I screwed up. I hate to make it even worse by saying this, but it, it was a great episode, and I'm extremely disappointed with myself that I forgot to hit the record button. So, I'm, I, ha I have to apologize. I'm very sorry. Super, super embarrassed, and I hate having to start this episode off by saying I did all this stuff and it was an amazing episode and you can't see it because I didn't push the frickin' button. But I have to own up to it and I'm starting this episode off with just these, fir these first few minutes just me being I'm sorry and there's nothing I can do about it unless I started a new game and played all the way up to that point. There's nothing. I, I've got nothing. The best I can do, like the absolute best I can do, is show you the mini game because they let you play again for fun. We found this uh, woman turtle in here. She was inside a broken down wall where uh, she asked us to keep an eye on her babies as they made their way to the ocean because she doesn't. She wants them to get to the ocean and supervise as turtles do. And then um, I played the mini game. It was very intense, very, it, was, it was really good, and I even played it twice and decided to keep uh, playing and recording for both attempts because it was that intense. And I didn't capture any of it. So I'm going to play this minigame a second time, or I should say a third time, just for funsies, I guess, because I 
that's the only thing I can show. Unless they let you replay a boss battle, I can't show anything else that I did before. So, going to say enough of that for now. We will jump into this, and then I'll take you through what I've already explored in this area. I have no other rewards, but the children are always getting into trouble, so I would appreciate you watching over them. wonder how many eggs this lady actually laid. And the children are getting into trouble by hatching and going for the ocean. Can you go keep an eye on them? How many do you have? We're just doing this for fun now. 27 turtles, so this is going to be the same as my second attempt. There were 20 in the first game, and it gets pretty intense. But don't take my word for it, just watch. Got some vultures coming in, and crabs going after these turtles. And you've got to keep them alive. I got through both attempts, and I'm pretty sure I didn't lose any turtles. So let's see how well I do on this third attempt, now that I've had plenty of practice. Get these guys. Whoa! Can't be doing that right as they get out. No, 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 no. Should be doing good. Good. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. I think. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All's good. All's good. All's good. Get a couple of them. Don't oh, wait. That, that one's got a turtle. That one's got a turtle. Glad there's no overheat for these things. Okay. Pretty sure they haven't gotten any. Oh, jeez. Wow, I got really lucky with all of them just running right in my fire. Right there. Yeah! I think that turtle on the right got... Oh, yeah, that crab got one. That crab got one. You just kind of end up sticking to one side for a while. Because everybody's right there. No, 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 no. Got him. So this is automatically not my best attempt. But it's pretty intense gameplay. For what we got here. Stop it. You dead, you dead, you dead. All of you dead, all of you dead. That was a really good sweep I just did. Okay, no. Come on, get that vulture. Crabs seem to be the hardest ones to shoot. I don't know if that's because of the angle of the cannon or because I just fail miserably at this. But get that crab, get that crab, get that crab. There's two vultures, two vultures. Thank you for running into that. Shoot. I got lucky that one that went right in. So I'm doing horrible this time, having lost two turtles so far. I don't know if there's anybody left. Oh, they're over. Okay. Woo! Try to better it? Nope, nope, nope. So that was the extent of that battle, which was pretty intense, I have to admit. Now I'm going to head back to the entrance of this world and show you what it starts out with. So after you beat Nasty Norik, there's a teleporter next to the professor's laboratory that activates, and he says that he can send you to a new realm with this new technology. And if I can find the uh, cutscene that has the conversation for it, I will include it here because it is just so freaking good. I loved it. Well done, Spyro. You freed this realm from Nasty Norik. Right after you did that, this teleporter started working again. Oh, a teleporter, huh? I think Moneybags already has one of those. Well, yes, that's true. But he has a, a local teleporter. Mine will take you to a whole new realm. <laughs> They're completely different technologies. Yeah, and Moneybags teleporter is smaller. Moneybags teleporter is smaller. Ah, Spyro, I see you made it safely. Certainly gives the old system a thorough workout, eh? Yeah, right. Like being sucked on a giant drain. Ah, uh, matter transportation is still in its relatively early stage. But don't worry, you'll soon get used to it. You can travel back to the first realm from this teleporter any time. Just step inside and activate it and choose where you want to go. Anyway, now you're here, the next thing you should do is try to find the Elder in the Cloudy Domain. But after you get on the teleporter and come into this new area, uh, haven't explored very much of this immediate area. I feel like there would have been a dark gym. Or oh wait, no, that's probably going to be the boss area. I went ahead and active checked on the uh, shop in there because I felt like that was going to be necessary, but with the uh, need to teleport around and such. Since this is the shop in the main area, I feel like it might not be a thing that I absolutely have to do. But I went ahead and. Uh, 
activated it anyway. Uh, I don't think... I'm probably wrong, but I don't think there were any other chests that I unlocked, even though I am missing two lockpicks. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. After that, I think I didn't explore anything else, and I just ran back in here. And going through here, there's little crabs which you can kill off on your own, but this big crab doesn't seem to be affected by either Flame Breath. He just kind of... Ugh, and doesn't do anything. And he's got the spikes on top, so you can't do a head smash into him. And that's about it, I think. Oh, it's freaking ticky. Give me your gems. Take too long to die. So we do have lightning breath now, which is pretty freaking cool. I mean, a, a dragon that shoots lightning breath is instantly awesome. Uh... But I haven't done a whole lot else in here, I believe. I oh, oh, that's how I do it. Okay, when I tried charging him before, it didn't work. Hey, now. And this is what my biggest complaint with the lightning breath, is that you don't instantly kill him. You just... Ooh, he's affected. Ooh, he's affected. Ooh, he's affected. Oh. you got to keep on affecting him for a period of time before they end up dying, which is not super great, in my opinion. I'd rather just use flame breath and kill them instantly. But the novelty of Lightning Breath is just enough to make me want to keep it, but I won't have it active for as long as possible. Uh, in the water, I found a couple of vases, and that's about it. No enemies down there. It is super beautiful, though. I want to show this off. This is kind of a bad example right here, but look at all this. This is super pretty for being underwater. Like, they could have just left this entire thing bare, and that would have been the end of it. But no, th it's really pretty down in here. I'm not quite sure... what I was trying to say. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, there is a light gem up there in the air. I'm not sure how to get that. I tried fire breath and lightning breath and trying to climb on that wheel. I can't get it to activate. And those stuff on the left, I didn't find a way to climb up. The stuff on the right, I didn't find a way to climb up. There's probably a way. Actually, I don't remember if I did check this one. I'm, I'm going to go over here and double check. But it doesn't look like there's a way to get up there. I tried climbing on something like this on the other ones to the right, and it didn't work. Uh, so unless there's something around the back right here, yeah, nothing. There are these things floating in the air, but it can't jump high enough to get to them, so... Not quite sure how to get up. Although there is... I guess that there is these things here. Can I do like a head smash and activate them or something like that? Not so much. Okay. So not sure how to progress in those areas. Nice to know I can finally kill these guys. Um, and there is a dark gem up there. I think that that is everything. About 12 minutes into this episode. Talking about everything that happened last episode. Not quite sure. Oh yeah, I did get this chest. Not quite sure what all else there is that I missed from last episode that I want to point out. Um... Oh yeah, there was one thing at the very end of last episode. Uh, I did go to Crocodile Swamp and get that lightning puzzle challenge done for a light gem. I mentioned that before. But, uh, comment section. I want you to tell me, is there any other lightning area that I passed by earlier that I might have forgotten about? Because I don't remember any others other than what was in the Crocodile Temple. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that there were some. Very, very sure. Because I passed by stuff that that I was thinking, oh, this is probably where I used the lightning breath. I could be wrong, but if uh, you can tell me where any of those were, I would appreciate it so I can go back and take care of those whenever I do start up a new recording. Um, that's all I can think of for now. So let me know if there's anything that I can go back to get. And I also want to try to climb this thing. At last episode, I was able to climb to the top of the other shell, uh, this one over here. I want to give this one a couple of attempts. I gave it one shot last time and didn't quite get on top, but I feel like this is my... Yeah, it's my last attempt to get over there. I'm not sure how else to do it. There is a cracked wall over there, which I could probably go through to get to that point. Oh, and destroying the dark crystal might actually open up some way for me to do a big old platforming section to get to this light gem and dragon egg. But other than that, I don't think that there's anything else I can do over here. So now that we've fully covered everything that I did last episode, um, let's see what we can do in this episode. <laughs> Again, very sorry that I 
stupidly did not remember to push the record button, and there's no way to show off everything else other than grabbing footage from somewhere else, I guess, but... I... I already feel bad enough. Like, there's probably going to be some people that say, yeah, don't worry about it, it happens, it happens, but I'm, I still feel really bad. This has not happened to me since uh, Spyro 2, I believe. <laughs> where I recorded an entire level and didn't manage to get anything in it because I forgot to hit the stupid record button. I think those are the only two times I've had this mistake before, and I know it happens, but jeez, I feel bad about it. But for now, this is a fun game. I'm very much enjoying it. I'm always wanting to play more of it. I'm going to keep playing more of it. What the crap is that? Spyro have a new friend in this area? Oh, no, wait, that's just warning me that there are what I assume supposed to be piranhas in this area. Or at least the, whatever these demon fish are. Okay, good, good, good. This is just making me nervous. Oh, this was a bad idea. But I made it! Does the game forget I can... No, no. Don't leave me alone. Do leave me alone. Please do leave me alone. Yay! There was some stuff that we also started out last episode with, I think. No, 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 no. No, we didn't. Never mind. Okay, give this a second attempt. Oh, hey! Hi, hi over there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to come over here and torch you alive. At least it's better than drowning, which is the worst way to die. Not that I would know from personal experience, but I hear that quite often enough that I will just take it as fact. I am not going to go researching what the worst way to die is. It's probably crucifixion or drowning, I would think. Probably crucifixion. Yeah, yeah that's a whole lot of science in that. Drowning you just do, and it's over in like a couple minutes. Uh, <laughs> anyway, talking about different ways of death, it's a great topic for a cheery video like this. Let's just focus on what's in front of me, which is the future of this episode and not the previous episode, which is a death that I will die for the rest of the next few episodes and then maybe the next few days. But, focus on what's in front of me. We got freaking awesome dragon egg. You guys are probably saying just pick it up, but I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very enamored by that egg. That is beautiful. In fact, I would even go far to say as beautiful is not an appropriate enough word to describe what that egg looks like. Oh my gosh, I love that pattern and the colors. I'm starting to consider that purple might be my favorite color, too. Like, just a consideration. I've always had... I've always thought that my favorite color was black, and you can then argue the whole black's not a color thing on your own. I've always liked black the best, along with a few other colors that come close, but I'm starting to consider the fact that purple might be my favorite color. I haven't put a whole lot of thought into it, but just kind of wondering. But that, that egg back there was... Mm, it was glorious. Just I just wanted to stare at it for a few minutes. I probably would have if I wasn't recording. That was... I was just caught with that egg. Okay. So this seems like a little secret time kind of area. Someone's living here. This is an interesting area. Just looking at this place. This could have been one of the... This area of the game could have been a screenshot for the game to promote it, and it would have gotten a lot of hype, I think. It just looks that good. Okay, let's not go this way yet. I want to explore whatever this is. Uh, with all the huts around here, I'm guessing that enemies are going to pour out... Oh, whoa. Yeah, I'm guessing that enemies were going to pour out of here and try to kill me. Yeah! Perfect. Alright, so that could have been like a constant spawn of gems, but... They're already a constant source in this game, so I guess they weren't really dropping enough to make it worth it. Little secret area back here. Go ahead, do your thing. Oh, it didn't work. Burn. And that's a 20 light gem door for a secret area. I'm pretty sure I can afford that. I have status screen. 22 light gems at this point. Oh my gosh. 
Uh, yeah, I can probably afford that. Yup, yup, yup. Um... So what is this thing? Is it a shell? It kind of... It looks like it has... The consistency of a shell. Broken in very select parts. But it also looks like a, um... The bud of a flower. Not the butt of a flower, I said the bud of a flower. Okay, thank goodness for the map telling me where I can go. Okay, okay, okay. This way is a dead end, that way is a dead end. I'm gonna go this way first. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna die in this direction first. And then immediately run back in and try to not die, because that's kind of more important. Yay! Alright, yeah, yeah. And then... Good. Okay. Uh... It's gonna be something in this area. Thankfully Sparks is able to pick up things inside. Thank you for that one. The rare yellow gem. Can't burn these bees. Slightly concerning, though. Alright, this is probably the end of this little map area. Okay. Going in quite deep to get here. And there's a few other stuff. What are these things? Roaches? Eh, maybe I don't want to know. Could also be silverfish, but that's even more disgusting. Alright, light gem up there. I want to go back in here for just a second. Bees are... Odd to find in here. They're not something you see in this game. So, what exactly is going on here? They're not attacking me. I can't attack them. And was there anything on top of that? It doesn't look that way. And I can't use that to get to any entrances, but I can probably float up there. Yeah, I can float up here, do the pole spin, and jump off to that other area. Alright. So, go ahead and take these guys out, because they're not going to be useful. I'm pushing the right button. Okay. Is that everything? There's a light gem above me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so this one will take me even deeper in. Okay. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to hit this and go. Oh, jeez, it's time. Alright. Shouldn't be that big a deal. I can make it no problem. I almost feel I could have climbed up here if I got the option to uh, grab onto that ledge. Yeah! He almost didn't make that on his own. Oh boy. Yeah! Jeez! I got this! This is not the kind of platforming I'm particularly good at, I say, as I die. So, obviously. And that's got it. Okay, so not my greatest attempts in between that and my death. But there's more to go in here toward the dead end. Which is super fascinating in its own way. I will take a teleport pad, yes. And actually I will take... Allow Sparks to withstand an extra head. Didn't he sell... Yeah, I thought that's what it was. Jeez, the full health is expensive. Well, I'm gonna have to buy that from the main store, not from here, because from here is too expensive. You gonna attack me? You gonna attack me? Hello? 
There you go. I'm getting better with the controls. Not mixing them up. I'm not going to say I'm great with them and I fully understand them because I know I'm still going to screw up, but I'm getting better. What is this mess? Uh, how concerned should I be? <laughs> okay, go back here for just a moment. Um, so this is probably going to take me back somewhere. But to where? It could also take me to some place completely new that I w in an old area that I wasn't able to access. I just have to survive getting onto and using the platform before we can figure out. Yeah, this is new. Okay, that's not... Hmm. Fortunately, I don't have to kill those guys. Oh, I can... Oh! Electricity can destroy these chests. That's awesome. Can I also... Because this guy wears metal armor. No. Okay. Uh... Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm... Yeah. Hmm. Nim, 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 nim. Okay. So, that one is not... Oh. oh, wait, I have to... Ah! Use that, and then... Come on. Get on up. That's it. Yes! Woo! And light gem. Cool. Alright, didn't leave anything behind except those crabs. And I'm not interested in killing them, because they were jerks to me. They can uh, stay over here and die alone. Okay, now what is this mess? Where am I going? Obviously up, but where am I going? Nothing's happening. I'm ascending to heaven. Which does not seem like the place dragons would go. What is going on? Oh! Go ahead, Spyro. If you've got money to spend, I am here to relieve you of the burden. Doesn't destroy those ones. We, uh, we found a new domain. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Wasn't expecting it, but, you know, okay. So... I'm not done with the previous one yet. So what we're gonna do... Is go in here, buy the teleport pass, and go to the Coastal Depot. Now that we're at the Coastal Depot, open up the store again, and buy the extra health unit, because it's probably kind of necessary. And then, oh wait, yeah, I want to buy the teleport pass again to go to this spot. And now that we're here, gonna backtrack to that secret door. Oh, cool! Sparks is red now. Why are you sinking? You were on solid ground. I remember complaining in the previous game whenever I got an extra health upgrade that Sparks didn't change color and he should absolutely change color so that you can keep track of how much health you actually have. But he was red! It wasn't bad! I'd say that was a little too good, because red dragonflies aren't uncommon. And Sparks is known for being yellow. There's something beyond yellow. Yeah, the red was awesome. I loved it. Friggin' red. And red is the color of the villain. We're going to... 
I mean, you know, stuff. But he looked so cool when he was red. Okay. 20 light gems. Which we have. And we will explore that next episode. I tried to make this episode a little bit longer since a third of it was just me talking about what everyone had to miss because of my incredible stupidity. And... Yeah, I, think, I think we got a lot done for this episode. Hopefully. Very hopefully. Please don't hate me. <laughs> so this one is going to take us into a new room that we haven't been to before. It might as well be the next Dragon Elder. But I'm interested in the secret area. Because we recently found an area that required 70 light gems. And this one's only 20. So what's so special about the secret areas? We'll find out next episode. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. I will see you all then. Take care.